Hello. Sorry, I know it's noisy, but... Uh, well, there are people living here. But I received a package, which is really nice. Um, from Astronaut, user on YouTube, and he has a channel as well. Uh, I didn't notice. Um, I looked through the videos real quick. Uh, well, I'm not a conspiracy uh, theory kind of guy. Uh, so, it's not for me, but that doesn't really matter. He watched my videos and uh, he said, well, I can send you some stuff. And that's way more than I uh, bargained for, I think, because it's quite a heavy package, to be honest. So I wonder, it's my first package I ever received from someone on YouTube, which is really nice. So let's see what it is. I, uh, of course, got rid of the address, personal information stuff. So, Ooh. no fucking way. Holy shit. <laughs> he went mental on that one. Holy shit. So what we have here, some terminals. Kind of stuff I not regularly use, but I can think of some methods of using it already. For instance, if you're testing segmentation, uh, you could oh. yeah, they're heavy. Um, add all the resistor values you want. Put this on a board and just you know move the the wire to the stator to the next one to see uh, when it is flat. So this is really nice for test purposes. And I, I'm pr pretty sure he that's the reason he uh, he gave me these, I think. He didn't mention it, but I think that's the reason. So that's nice. Cool. Terminals. I see a lot of PCB. Oh, that's uh, some different sizes, I believe. One millimeter, one point five. I think some FR four and some are Bakelite. I'm not gonna unwrap this for now. Oh, actually, no, they are all the same, I think. Is it paper or is it FR4? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I think it's paper. Doesn't look like FR4. Anyhow, uh, quite thickness. So this could be nice uh, either for staters, but I, I reckon it's uh, maybe a little bit too thick for staters. But um, it would be nice to make the high voltage units on something like this instead of the way I have it right now, like looking really shitty and, and, sh and well, shitty and unreliable. <laughs> so that's really nice. This is a part of the weight. It's hefty. Ah. It's, um. Caps, I think at least, some weird values on it. What is actually the value? 1450, I'm not sure yet. I'll measure it and uh, we know for sure. Oh, no, package doesn't say it, but it's quite a lot. If they are caps, which I think they are, that could make up a uh, high voltage. Oh, even more PCB. Ah, ah, this is one millimeter, and this is FR4. What actually is this then? Because the color is also. 
Oh, it's single-sided, I think. Nice. Quite a lot of PCB, actually. Thanks for that. Always comes in handy. Resistors. All kinds of values. Ah, and it's labeled as well, which is really nice. I just bought a package of kind of assortment thingy because I was quite annoyed I never had the right value. But this is a very welcome. Yeah, for sure. Let's take a look at what values there are, but it seems like there's a lot of above the several K ranges, which is good for segmentation. So that's nice, very nice. Some wires and some really nice caps for filter purposes. Let me see. 0 0.022 micro tera. Hmm. So this could be used as a very high voltage 3000. So these could be used as the caps in an inverted um, panel because they have to be of higher voltage. Might as well be used as a filter component, but the value is rather low. These... Oh, that, those are some big ones. I see some caps for used in motors, I think. I hope they are discharged, to be honest. Or I might kill myself. So these are used for either motors or uh, I think uh, uh, fluorescent lamps, maybe. But these are quite the value. Oh, it's not even. Yeah, well, quite the value, yeah. Six micro there. 400 volt, very big. And there's even a bigger one. But what sparks my interest, of course, is these yellow thingies. MKP. Yeah, so this could be used for a very nice filter component. And also a, a little bit smaller value. Still huge. 10 micro. How much was it? Four. Oh, okay. Much higher rated voltage, even higher. That's really nice. Oh, look, if you really want to kill yourself, this might be your ticket. Let me see, 200 microfarad <laughs> and voltage, yeah, so three, well, this, this one is, is gonna hurt. <laughs> I would be scared to use this for anything, but that's a, <laughs> that's a big can. I might actually might be a waste because I'm not sure if these are good if they're perfectly fine it will be a waste but I wonder if this is aluminum paper thing I still look for a source to get the aluminum out of a cap but I don't just want to waste any cap so I might ask him which one might consist of this very thin uh, 4 micron aluminum foil maybe he knows so I don't uh, destroy a very good component Oh, wow, what are these? More caps, huge caps. <laughs> That's a huge block. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, there's another one of these doubly ones. So I got actually two of those.
They are big. And the bag of RC cables. You don't like my cabling? <laughs> That's always nice to have. I mean, why not? It's, um, oh, there are several. in handy extension uh, cables they look nice even more caps are those the same I hope so that will be very nice 14 uh, yeah so that's great this could make up for some um, high voltage um, cascade oh here's the value Thirithur Nano, yeah, so that's great. That's actually a perfect value to be used. How's oh, different? 33, 47, 47. I usually use 47, but I'm pretty sure I can get away with 33. So I have to maybe uh, see which one is which. Or is this whole back 47? Yeah, that's it. This is 47, this is 33. Both are uh, perfectly fine for a cascade. So I might actually, the amount is quite quite a lot. So I probably could make two of these and two of these, I guess. That's nice. Ooh, and even more caps. That's a lot of caps. Huge caps. I'm scared I uh, fry myself, so what is this? 8 microfarad, 500 volts. This is gonna be way more than that, to be honest, I think. These are huge. Huge cans as well. Well, some uh, high voltage stuff. That's the end of the package, but it's really nice. So thank you, thank you so much. Not sure what to do with the big, the really big caps yet, because I never use any, to be honest. But uh, especially the, for me, especially the resistors come in really handy, and all these caps, the smaller caps, really nice. I can use them straight away if I got some diodes. <laughs> I got some, but not enough. And these can be really nice for testing, so that's cool. I will mount it on a plate or something, so I can just see what, what is what. This just is always handy. Some cable. Yeah, it's never a waste. And the PCB is great as well. Very nice. So thanks a lot for um, for sending me this package. It's really nice. And it's the first package I've ever received. So uh, I will make use of it. Hell yeah. Gonna build some stuff in the future. You probably had an idea with this. <coughs> uh, for me, at least uh, it doesn't spawn an idea because it's huge, quite dangerous. Um, but I think you you might as well, you can use it as a filter component. That will be, you know, that will be the biggest cap I've seen ever. It is a value that I uh, could use in a filter for sure. That's one big, it's gonna be a huge filter. Like insane. Look at these things. Yeah, those are values that could be used in a filter. So, just to make some sort of insane, high end, ridiculous filter.
which is nice. I never do this because I don't have, well, don't have the money for it because I usually I think it's kind of wasteful, but if you got the material, why not, you know? Definitely. No reason not to do it. More caps, more caps. Caps, caps, caps. Loads of caps. And hopefully all this charge. I guess so. After a while it is. So yeah, thanks a lot. And I'm probably gonna put it somewhere where it belongs. So this is... Just to be sure. Yeah, double sided. Double sided FR4. Always nice. Now I'm still wondering what this is. Just what I thought, it's single ended. Oh. oh, it might actually be FR4. Not sure. The color is kind of uh, like paper, but this is glass fiber. So it might actually be FR4. Single sided, I think one and a half millimeter, maybe even two actually. So this will be perfect for normal, um, yeah, making PCBs, which I never actually did because uh, designing them is uh, I have no clue how to. Bit of a PCB noob, but I should be able to make a design and use the CNC to mill it out. Like isolation milling or use etch, but I think milling for prototypes is easier. So that's really nice. Thanks a lot. It will definitely, uh, it will definitely be used. It's quite a lot, so it probably won't be. Uh, <laughs> this would take me a while, I guess. Double side is always nice. So that's really cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for shipping in. For your time, the stuff, and also the shipping costs. So, really, thank you. See you next time.